Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another beautiful, yet slightly foggy day out here in Satisfactory. With me, Space Vision, welcome back to our huge and uh, ginormous mega factory right here, where we're making, well, all the things we could have ever dreamed of. We're currently working on a good bunch of encased industrial beams, which is gonna do wonders for us in terms of actually finally upgrading all our miners to Mark IIs, which should hopefully be great, and, well, we've got steel beams going, we've got steel pipes going, but still, we should probably have a huge ton of things left to do. We've got these versatile frameworks uh, slowly producing right here, but we don't really quite have the steel beams to go for it, so we probably need to actually amp up our steel beam production to keep up with the demands that we have, and then on top of that, we still have stuff to go like the automated wiring right here. We've got stators that we need to take care of. We've got motors that we need to make. There is so, so many things to take care of. And I mean, this mega factory is going to grow ever, ever further. But for a start of this episode, what I actually want to take care of, and I think I spoke about this in the last episode already, is that... Well, this friggin' huge stairwell at this point is honestly quite the point of pain for me, because it, it literally takes me like two, three minutes to get up this stairwell each and every time. So it is become quite bad, honestly. So what I would really actually like to do is plunk down a little factory card, give it a quick zoom over to our hub, uh, so we can actually maybe hopefully look into getting some jump pads researched and uh, also put into the factory so we can hopefully tra traverse the whole place a good bit quicker because uh, that is honestly quite the big issue right now and also maybe I should eventually just get like some way of traversing from one factory grid to another with this thing like I don't know some huge kind of street that connects the two or something, I don't quite know, um, but of course, you know, the little factory cart here isn't quite made for off-road use, so maybe we'll look into that sometime as well. Before the start, uh, we've got jump pads right here, and I really, really want to actually take care of those, I mean, you can see we've got more than enough of these rotors right here, and this will give us the jump pads, the jelly landing pads, which should be good enough, it will kind of use some power also, so we'll have to see about that, but I think it's overall not too bad. Alternatively, we've also got the hyper tubes, which I think I can theoretically use to transport... Yes. So you can use that to transport yourself. Now the question kind of be in... Hmm... I mean, that's kind of an interesting question, right? Do I just want to transport myself using hyper tubes? Do I want to use jump pads? Do I want to use a combination of both? Uh, it's probably probably gonna be the last one. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see how this kind of stuff works out for us. For the time being, though, I'm gonna go and actually pick up some more copper wires, which we should still have going right here. And uh, then we'll make some cables. And uh, with the cables, research the jump pads. And uh, well, then, then we'll hopefully get something of that sort of going. And then we'll look into see. I, I mean, we, we should have a lot of steel pipes, honestly, so I don't think the next milestone should be very far away either. But for the time being, I'm going to stand here crafting for a quick little bit, so uh, I'll just get that finished and I'll be back with you after. Alright, and back I am, and uh, let's get these cables into here and actually launch the pod. We still have the beautiful Christmas sleigh there, which is kind of interesting, because that's... Been a while ever since, but um, we can now build some fancy jump pads. <laughs> some fancy jump pads and jelly pads now. Well, there is no timer, which is kind of weird. No, there it is, 3.37, so we won't be able to launch the pod for the next thing quite instantly anyway. So we'll see about that, but for the time being, what we should now have somewhere up like where would it be organization no transportation yes so uh, what we do now have is these jelly pads and the jump pads right here now jump pads as you can see are pretty straightforward jelly pads actually seem to need biomass which is kind of a bit of an 
issue for me because I'm not really making biomass anymore. So how we do that? I don't quite know yet. Like the jump pads themselves shouldn't be that much of an issue. Um, angle can be adjusted while building, which is interesting, of course. I'm kind of worried about the factory eventually becoming too high for my jump pads. You know, tra traversal between the factories maybe not that hard. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if I actually want to use jump pads now that I've actually seen the tube. So maybe we'll just use that. Um, let's see, I think. We'll go back to the factory. We'll, I think we'll just work on some expansion for now and then we'll... Uh, kind of see where to go from there you know the thing is you know I had an idea in my mind with the jump pads and everything but like the biomass just seems to make it a whole lot more complicated where like all the stuff that I would have for the hyper tubes you're just being automatically produced so maybe we just skip the jump pads altogether um, but for the time being what I think should be the next thing on our list probably is going to be actually increasing our steel beam production because we do need a lot more uh, steel beams to actually push our production along and then once we've done that I think the next thing is going to be actually looking at stuff like the motors uh, uh, Automated wiring and many many more so um, Let's get up here first as you can see I mean this is the whole madness I've been talking about but uh, we'll see each other when we're at the top all right, so not quite the top here, but this is where I wanted to go. So for a start here, we've got 112 steel ingots per minute being produced right here with 120 that we can take in right here. And a bit of overclocking capability, but probably honestly not enough to use the inputs from a whole nother foundry making steel ingots. Now, on the other hand side, I mean, we've got this uh, stuff here too, which is making the steel pipes, of course. So we'll kind of have to see about that but one way or another I think we should work towards getting a second foundry attached to the grid now my idea here would be to have the foundry on this level but I think what could end up being an issue is if we would want to go and actually make more constructors too for all this stuff we'll probably not be able to fit this stuff anymore because I mean, quite frankly, how many are we using here? One grid, two, three, four. So, like, four foundations wide, basically, for one of these setups. And we only have three right here. So, I feel that this would kind of be a bit limited by that. Now, yeah, sure, we kind of have this space to expand right here. But I was looking to make this more like a storage slash logistics sorting part of the factory eventually. So... Yeah, I don't quite know, to be honest, because, like, the thing is, we'll eventually need more steel pipes as well. I'm rather confident of that, just for the sole reason that I already saw we need those for the motors, for uh, some other things. I think stators may have needed those. I'm not quite sure, but there was definitely more advanced products that do need steel pipes. So now the question kind of being, do we keep this all on the same level or do we just say we're going to reuse this level for something else and we're going to build a new level on which we're going to do more steel because I feel the latter may be the answer here to be honest like I don't think I'm getting enough iron in from this miner anyway so we'll have to upgrade a second one that will have to have a lift attached to it and I feel it would be this because this isn't really all to split or anything yet anyways and then we can, yeah, I think, oh god, I nearly just fell off. I think we're going to go and build a new level for this. I do have enough concrete still, so we'll build a new level for our actual uh, steel production, and then we'll kind of go from there. Now, um, we'll be also kind of looking, I think, I think I really want some path that I can use with the factory car, so maybe that's going to be something we'll look into as well. But for the time being... Uh, let's get a wall going right here. Let's make sure that it's facing the right way. I've still not turned the factory walls inside out, so that's actually something we need to do eventually, and that just turned itself around. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, so I'll just be building a bunch of walls right here for the moment that do not seem to line up with each other. For whatever the reason may be, and also the flipping walls turn themselves inside out again. Are you for real? 
Okay, let's try that again, I guess. Interesting, so things can just flow from this game? Okay. Um, so we're gonna try that again. I'm gonna have to start here, I suppose. With the right side. Perfect. And then we'll do something like this, you know, actually wall the stairwell off so I don't fall down or something, and, uh... Well, that should be about good enough. Now, how much height I gave to these rooms again, I don't quite know. With me just falling down a whole fluent story again. Well, as you can see, it seems to be well, like two and a half, basically, right? So we've got two walls, and, and then at the top of the third, we start a new floor. So let's get ourselves up there. And actually get things going. For the foundations and then we'll actually get a stairwell up there to finish our build so one two and three this is gonna be where the new story starts and we're gonna have to kind of remove that because that's where the stairwell actually goes now stairs then let's get those going too um well, another another level to go up i'm really not looking forward to it. The, the further i expand this thing upwards the more i actually want something to get around the factory with properly uh, so very much looking forward to that finally being a possibility. Now what I'm kind of wondering about is shouldn't this kind of be finishing at the same spot as these? I'm kind of confused right now as to... Oh yeah, no, 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 right. So we do go another level, and now we're actually at the level. I was kind of getting confused as to the placement of the stairs, but that's all going to be fine. Now, for a start, quick grid around the outside, which is going to take me a minute longer, and then the inside should be rather quick and straightforward. And if we're going to run low on concrete, luckily this time around, we don't have to run back all the way to the hub, because... Oh, we can already start from over here. Uh, because we've got the concrete manufacturing down there so that should hopefully have some leftovers that we can use now let me go and close this all in and uh, not do that then we're gonna go and actually close this roof off and then we're gonna kind of just replicate what we did down below for steel manufacturing I think I will have to see how I go about splitting things because as I said before we kind of need more steel beams on that level down below but I'm not quite sure, we may be using them on different levels eventually as well, so we'll kind of have to see about that. Now, I'm kind of just actually thinking, maybe we won't build the whole thing on the new level. Let me let me go grab some concrete first. As I said, we've got some leftovers there, so that's nice. Maybe we will actually not be building the whole thing on the new level, because... I don't know, I think I'm going to go and look into the constructors in a minute and see if I'm going to need steel beams for any other purposes other than the ones I've already built. Because if I don't, I could be making steel and steel beams down below and then transporting the rest of my steel ingots upstairs for pipes. And then we can just reuse the pipes instantly on that level and actually make something with them. So we would be saving a bit of space. Wait, this is the wrong level to actually... Well, actually, it's a constructor. We, we can check in here. So, um, we're using steel beams for this, of course, right? So, we've got 30 steel beams a minute here. We've got 24 a minute here. It's a lot. I'm not even sure we're going to get this fully satisfied with a second... Uh, with a second steel beam constructor set up. But if we at least don't need it in the other places... Which we don't seem to need it in any other places, so... Okay, okay, so I think the plan's slightly changed then. So what we will be doing, and let me actually make sure that we have the materials for another foundry. We do indeed. Um, what we will be doing is we will be setting the second foundry up on the level of the first foundry as well. We'll be setting the second steel beam uh, constructor up on this level too, and we'll be moving the rest of the steel ingots up to the other level and reusing those for a second steel pipe kind of manufacturing plant and then we'll kind of just try and spread that stuff accordingly. So foundry is going to be the start once more then and I'm going to go and kind of try and set this up the same way. Now how have we done this here? Oh wow this thing is actually wide. 
All right, so we've kind of set it up in the middle of two, and then could actually be struggling for space a bit. We'll see about that. Now, theoretically, the setup would have to be right here to perfectly mirror it, and you all know I'm kind of OCD about these things, but I'm going to have to move it up a bit, honestly, because otherwise it will be blocking the stairs a bit, and I really don't like that quite that much, and... Uh, well, that is at least nice and centered. Now we're going to have to worry as well about actually bringing the materials up there. I mean, cold splitting that thing down there and bringing it over here shouldn't actually be a huge issue. Um, the iron, I don't think should be that bad either. We may just bring it along the walls here, which could be an issue with the power pull being in the way. But I think that may be solvable. Maybe may also not be. No, I need to have like a conveyor wall right there basically. Now, this here I'm not too sure about. Yeah. I really don't like that the power pole is in the way right now, but I don't... couldn't move it over one spot I suppose. One second guys. Alright, so what I think we'll be doing is we'll be tearing the power pole here down and we will uh... hello? Ah, right. We'll grab the this and put that in the middle here, that'll make it a bit easier for us to kind of align the walls and everything, and then we'll actually connect that up right there. Now that that kind of opens up the possibility of putting a wall right here, and I think we'll, we'll have to see where to put the wall conveyor to be honest. If I want to upgrade this miner down below, it may be more worth it putting it here, and then actually having a lift that goes up and all the way around. I think that's what we're going to do, especially since we don't really have much space for anything else right here, so I think this placement is going to be pretty good, except the fact that the conveyor actually runs right down below, so we'll may, we may offset it one to the right, because that way we don't have any issues with things down below blocking us and us having to replace everything. Now, um, the rest will just wall off for now. So, uh, the right way around, please. Don't like mess everything up again. And we will then go and grab some wall conveyors there. And I cannot do that, but I can do this, I suppose. So we'll do that. We'll do that so we've got like some proper corners going. This may actually be a bit of an issue still. That may actually be a pretty big issue still. Maybe we'll do it without wall conveyors. I don't know, like this thing's going to be in the way. I can already see the encroaching others clearance thing coming in. We can try, I suppose. But I, I think this is going to mess it up. I need a proper conveyor under level 1. Um, Mark 2 should be good, I think, for our demands. Does seem to work. Okay. No issues, apparently. Beautiful. So, yeah, we're going to just basically pull that out, out all the way around then and have it come down right there. And then that should be pretty much good to go. I'm also going to close this here off with a wall if I can and may. There we go. Actually, oh, may have messed up the walls up there. May have actually messed up the whole wall right here, to be honest. Yeah, so this I'm going to have to redo, because the plan, I think, was that uh, on the inside of the factory I use a different color of wall. So, I don't want to mess up the factory walls any more than I have already, because that's a lot of work to actually fix it up and patch up properly. So, this is kind of the wall that's supposed to be right here at the very end. And, um, that's the way that I'm going to actually set it up. So, there should be another perpendicular conveyor wall that we can use. That uses just that exactly, and as you can see then, that kind of will be very nicely and conveniently placed right here. And that'll actually be the way for us to do it. Now, let me go and grab those conveyors again. I'm honestly kind of considering to just start using Mark III conveyor belts, even though I don't really need it for the amount of resources we use. Just for the sole reason that it kind of... I don't know, I feel it's kind of cheaper for me at the moment. Like, I'm producing so many steel beams and I've got so many leftovers there that it kind of feels like the more logical choice to me. I really don't know. Now, this thing here, I mean, the issue is going to be that we don't have anything more to overclock it. So we're kind of just going to be stuck at 45 a minute at the moment. 
Now, if we're going to go to 50% on this, it should be at about 120, so Mark II conveyors should be kind of fine. I'm just really not sure about the material cost. I mean, the thing is, I've got the uh, reinforced steel plates, iron plates, whatever, with me already, so that's kind of why I'm going to do it like this now, but maybe in the future we're just going to build everything with Mark III conveyors, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, just, just given the amounts of stuff that I have, I'm kind of... Kind of unsure I really want to do it with anything else at this point. But okay, so that's going to be the first thing set up right here then. Now the other thing we'll actually have to take care of, and I will have to take care of, is going to be another hole in the wall right here, I suppose. Um, so we'll put another conveyor wall right there that we'll kind of use to push out the, well, the part of the steel ingots that we do want to go out to the steel tube production, right? Um... I'm kind of considering to have another storage of steel beams right here, just so we have more to use for conveyor belts, but honestly, the other one is so frequently and crazily filled up that it should be fine. Also, it's not about steel beams, it's steel ingots right here, so that is actually not the way to do it. So, uh, logistics then. We will grab a conveyor splitter, which I actually have conveniently placed in here already, and the end will be placed right here, and that should hopefully be centered. I think. I didn't get an indicator, but it should be centered. And, um... What would be my output frequency of stealing it here? 45 as well. Okay, so... We don't really need anything more than a Mark II. And we've got some material still, so we're gonna go for a Mark II here for the time being. And uh, we're gonna go for a Mark II there for the time being as well. Now this, of course, is a bit of a slant, which I really don't like. My OCD says no and screams no pretty big time there, but that's going to be the way that we're running that for now. Now, the next thing that we're going to need, of course, is going to be our constructor for the steel beams. And we're going to make those about right here. Now, the thing is, once more, that I don't really quite have the space to do this symmetrically. So, oh god. I, I think this will be painful. I mean, we could... No, we could not place it back there either. So, this will be slightly off-center as well. What do I say? What do I do? I I kind of still have this stuck, song stuck in my head with Cotton I Joe, but... Well, I'm going to try and not sing that right now. That said, that is going to be making steel beams right here, and then we've got our output right here that'll beautifully put them out, and... Well, we'll need to kind of shape it, like, mm, to here, I think, and this will be where we will output the steel beams to kind of be used in other places, which the other places will be with the story right above. Now, alternatively, no, that's, that's actually not the way to go. I mean, we've got this stuff here going already, so... What we are actually going to do, so we're actually just going to merge them here. Now, the thing that I'll have to kind of take care of is how I will move that across. I, Because, I mean, I've got these steel pipes here, right? Those need to go somewhere eventually. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wall this off right here for the time being. This this is probably going to go where this... No, it's not because we've got a lift right there. So, this is going to go be where the steel... Um, Pipes are eventually going to go through, so maybe we can just already put a conveyor wall right there just to kind of have an idea of where to not put anything. And um, then we're going to go and move this around with some wall conveyors to kind of neatly keep this stuff out of the way, basically. So I'm kind of low on reinforced iron plates now, so I'll grab some more and then we'll kind of finish this off real quick. I'll be back in a second. Alright, back upstairs we are, so I got some more stuff that we needed, and we're now going to go and make some conveyor lifts right here. So, uh, before I actually put conveyor lifts, I think I'll put the conveyors, because we already made the experience that I kind of need to predefine the direction of these conveyors before putting lifts, because otherwise, if I pull them from up here to down there, that's going to kind of inverse the direction that I want, and, well, that doesn't need to happen. So. This lift I'm going to put like that, I think that is pretty fine, then the steel beams are going to go up here, and then we're going to kind of have a bit of an issue with the placement right here. I think something like this may be alright. Actually, no. 
let me let me redo that. What I think may actually be alright is gonna be something like that, I hope. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go grab the Mark II. And not gonna be able to attach it. Did I put it the wrong way around? I guess I may have. Yeah, this is always the input if I start from down below and don't have anything attached, right? Yeah. Hmm. Like, the thing is, I can't really put a lift right here because that's going to block the conveyor wall. What I could do, actually, we're just going to change this wall. We're just going to make it two. Wall, wall, and then we're going to use one, and we're going to use the other one to just look out and enjoy the view. Alright? I think that works. So... We're going to go and do the same thing again, just actually like this, this time around. And um, then we're going to have to pull this thing apart somewhere. Let's pull it apart right here, I suppose. And uh, squeeze in something a little bit like this. So this is going to go for a minute. That's going to go for a minute. Then we're going to actually get this out of the way too, just so we actually have all the space we ever wanted. And... Um, Gonna go like that, I guess. Yeah, that looks about right. And uh, then we are gonna go attach a Mark II to this, and that's a splitter, not a merger. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's retry that while our whole production grinds to a halt for a quick second. We will grab a merger. I never have a merger because I just always flip them. Well, I, I never really use a merger, right? So, the out will be right here. And now I think the whole thing makes a bit more sense, because we're not going to split. Of course, we're going to merge between the two constructors. We will have to move this sort of around the outside here. Conveyor belt has an invalid shape. Beautiful. Now, it does... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. No, how did I turn things in this game? Mouse wheel, right? So this is just kind of weirdly turned, isn't it? Why does it allow me the first time and then it kind of messes the shape up? Come on. Seriously, don't do this to my OCD, dude. What's in the world? Okay, we're going to do this a long way, apparently. What is wrong with this conveyor shape right now? I don't even know it. I think the game just wants to entirely make me lose it over my OCD right now, so, um... Well, apologies for, like, the weird forms that we're dealing with right now, but we're... Gonna have to make this work somehow, and now I block the entire darn thing again. Great. Um... That's really not the way that this should work. It really isn't. I could, honestly, probably just use this thing right here, potentially? I think this may be a bit close, yeah. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. So what we could try is if I do something like this, can I attach a lift onto that? I think I pushed it a bit far out, did I? I'm not sure I can actually directly attach a lift to a conveyor belt. That's the issue here. Like, my idea would be, yes... So to have something like this, just lift it up right there like that, and then kind of push things into it like that. Now, is this connected? I'm not sure it is, to be honest. It doesn't look too connected to me. So we're just going to pull that out once more. Pull that out, and then we're going to redo that. Okay. Beautiful. That seems to work. I hope. So, God, a lot of shenanigans, but that's working. And I totally forgot about the actual connection right here and actually now made my production grind to an all. Okay, so that is all going upwards again. And we're hopefully going to resume producing all these beautifully encased industrial beams. And, well, that, that should be this kind of stuff set up for the time being. Now, we're, of course, going to need a bit of a conveyor right here. And we're going to bring that over to there basically. And I still also need to think about how to get my call up, because I now kind of block that way in. Which is a bit of an issue, to be honest. Oh god. Okay, um, so I think some more Tetris shenanigans to happen here, because, uh, 
Now I'll have to figure out how to actually get my coal up because this thing is slightly in the way. Maybe we'll move that over a bit to the right and uh, then fix it that way. But the time for this episode is unfortunately already over. So I'm going to have to end it off right here. We're going to continue in the next episode, finalize the stuff for our second steel ingot and beam setup. Then we're going to move up, make some more steel pipes, and we're hopefully going to use those for some stators, motors, automated wirings, and everything in between. And then with all these advanced materials, hopefully in the work within the next few episodes, well, hopefully we can make some more cool stuff. So, fingers crossed right there. Very much looking forward to it. I hope you all are as well as usual. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button down below. That does help out the channel a ton. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider hitting that subscribe button right down below as well as that bell icon to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. But with all that out of the way, as always everyone, thanks a lot for watching and I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.